Hello YouTube, um, so today I'm going to be doing something very different. Instead of doing a tech thing, I'm going to do another music thing as you probably saw in the other video. But this time instead of doing it uh, through a backing track, I'm going to do it uh, a cappella. So, uh, here we go. A farmer and a teacher, a hooker and a preacher, riding on a midnight bus. Bound for Mexico One was headed for vacation One from higher education And two of them were searching for a lost souls That driver never ever saw a stop sign And eighteen wheelers can't stop on a time There are Three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them? Heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. That farmer left to harvest a home in 80 acres. The face and love for growing things in his young son's heart. And that teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children. And did her best to give them all a better start. And that preacher whispered, can't you see the promised land? As he lay his blood saying Bible in that hooker's hand. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them, heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. That's a story that our preacher told last Sunday. As he held that bloodstained Bible up for all of us to see, he said, Bless the farmer and the teacher and the preacher who gave this Bible to my mama who read it to me. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them now I guess we know And what you take when you leave this world behind you It's what you leave behind you when you go There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway and I thank you guys for enjoying this video. I really enjoyed singing that song because it's just so passionate. And it's... I, I, I don't know. Um, please keep continuing to subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about it. Um, I really enjoy singing for you guys and reviewing technology and doing other things that I might do on my channel. I'll stay tuned. I may do some more things of me down the shore because I haven't really done any clips of me down the shore yet. Because I we haven't really walked down the boardwalk or anything. But I'm down the shore. I'm... Uh, Sitting in the front, um, I guess you'd say the, the front deck of my house. Um, I'm in like a rocking, spinning chair thing. And, uh, yeah. And stay tuned. Uh, I will not, it's not, it's not really going to be a drama of my life, but it's going to be kind of like a story of my life thing. So it's, it's going to be like a, I, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be like an audio version of drama of my life. But it's, I'm going to basically kind of take you in a, in a full in depth of my life. Talk about, you know, like how I became blind. And, why I'm doing YouTube, um, actually I can just tell you why I'm doing YouTube right now. I'm doing YouTube because I really enjoy making videos for you guys, even though I can't see the videos, I know that you guys can enjoy it. Even though I don't know where I'm pointing it, I know that you guys probably enjoy stuff and seeing what goes on in my life. Because, that's what vloggers do, I mean, I don't really vlog that much anymore. Um, sorry about that squeaky thing, and that's what, you know, that's what, that's what happens when I spin the chair. Um, but, I may actually really I may make a playlist called the blind vlogger and just put a bunch of videos up there about my life or I may just make a new YouTube channel called the blind vlogger except that's kind of that's that's our YouTube channel and uh, 
couple of my friends done it, and then they, they unfortunately their account got hacked. But um, I just really enjoy making videos for you guys because I just I hope that you guys enjoy it too. And uh, I've been doing videos for about three years now, although three years of videos have been probably deleted because they're not very good. They're kind of immature and stuff. But um, please um, like, subscribe, comment. You know, comment. Put, put that in the comment section what you guys want me to do next. You know, what song you want me to sing next. Or what tech you think I should buy next. Or what, what, what I should review next. Or what I should do next. Just, you know, what, what should I do next. Um, I guess that's really it. Uh, except for, oh yeah, another thing in the comment section. So there's a thing that I really want to get. There are two keyboards that, I really, that I'm really really interested in. Now, for any of you keyboard you know fans out there. Any of you professional keyboard musicians out there. I would really appreciate this. So there's the Roland FA06, um, which sells for $1,000, and it's a pretty cool keyboard. It's got 61 velocity sensitive keys, 2,000 sounds. Um, then there's the Yamaha MX61, which is kind of the same, except it's made by different companies, made by Yamaha. Um, that has 1,100 sounds. And a lot of them come from the Motif series, the, the Motif engine, um, and that sells for, originally it's like $900, but Amazon's selling it for 600 and now logically I should go with the MX because it's like, cheaper, but I just think the Roland might be better because it has better sounds and stuff. And if you guys want to find me on Twitter, go right ahead, my Twitter name is uh, BlindKid55, that's B-L-I-N-D-K-I-D-5-5. My Facebook name, if you guys want to like me on Facebook is John, like J O H N, Michael, M I C H A E L, Dowling, D O W L I N G. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if you want to contact me, my email address is 1008jmd at gmail.com. Uh, you know, we can we can, we can can talk. I, I'm, I'm a pretty nice guy. You can add me on Skype at John Loves Humanware. That's J O H N L O V E S H U M A N W A R E. 